Unfortunately, he's nasty. He nasty. <laughs> I'm introducing y'all to my husband, CJ. I know y'all hear me talk about him all the time, but y'all don't know who the hell should have CJ. I'll be talking about... <laughs> We're gonna talk about how we first met each other. <laughs> you wanna start with your side? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> okay, so... I want to say I was 16 like when I first heard of him. Yeah, it was like 2009-ish. And so, what you going to say? I would say 2009 is when I moved to Monroe. Yeah, so Hill. he lived about two hours away from where I live. And he was moving from that city to my city because his sister lived there. And she worked at raising canes with my cousin and so he was going to start working there too and so how i first heard of him was um his sister <laughs> called my cousin one day when i was out with my cousin and she was like oh my brother's moving here soon and he doesn't really have any friends there um can you all kind of be like, you know, his associates or people he can hang out with while he's there? And so I'm sitting there like, what the hell? He must be lame and shit. He can't get no friends. <laughs> <laughs> like his sister trying to advocate for him to get friends and shit. <laughs> yeah. And so in my head, I'm just thinking he was ugly as shit. Like, I don't know. I, I wasn't checking for him at the time. Nice. Plus, I already had a boyfriend, so I was like, okay. If he really need friends that bad, I guess. Um. So, I had forgot all about the situation, and a few months had passed by. And so, um, uh, at Kane's. Oh, Okay, yeah. so if y'all know, if you ever been to Raising Cane's, they have the little triangle. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Um, the triangle. Separate... You mean rectangle? <laughs> rectangle. Good Lord, I didn't draw the rectangle and talk about some triangle. <laughs> <laughs> it separates the cooks from the um, cashiers. Yeah, but they do more than cashiers. Yeah, they clean and wait tables. I ain't made a clean shit. Yeah, I don't know about everybody. Basically, <laughs> a little rectangle. All anybody behind the rectangle are cooks and are working drive through. Either one. But yeah, you're working the cashier, taking orders, cleaning up the front, whatever. If you're in front of the triangle, triangle, rectangle. You got me saying. He was a cook, so he was in the back. Um. My cousin Asia just so happened to be at work that night and me and my other cousin Shawnee had came in um, to get some food. Now, I didn't like raising canes like that. I just like the toast. My cousin always give us the hookup on food anyway right. since she worked there. Um, and yeah, so she had let him know that I was <laughs> there. Yeah, so she came back there and told me to she, she was like, hey, CJ, look up front. She's the dark-skinned one. So I was like, all right, all right, whatever. So I seen <laughs> so I seen her cousin, and I was trying to look for her, search for her. So I seen this heavyset lady who was pretty round. She had to be at least 230, 240. And keep in mind, that was like over 10 years ago. So I was like 120 pounds, 130 pounds. Looking like this strong. So. <laughs> I admit it was kind of 
went in defensive mode, like, nah, I can't do that. She too big for me, you know, she gonna squish me, blah, blah, blah. She too much for me, you know. I don't mind a little thickness, but it was just, it was too much, so. So, yeah, I, I didn't say anything, you know, I just like, oh, okay, go ahead, sure, you know, went back to work, did my own thing, so. So, yeah. And I've always been bigger than him, but not like that. Like, I've always been thick, like, coke bottom shape, but not like what he was describing. Um, so I got to see him, but he didn't see me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, it's looking kind of good behind that rectangle. Uh, for the next few weeks, I noticed he wasn't really texting me like he usually would before then. And like, he would always text me like random shit, like right. different types of food <laughs> or some crazy ass video he didn't see. He was sending it to right. me. Um, but I thought she was a big girl. So, you know, I was like, I ain't fucking with that. Yeah. So when <laughs> <laughs> I had texted him. I was like, hey, you know, what's going on? Like, and he was just like. Were you that big girl that was <laughs> <laughs> at K's that night? <laughs> I was like, what? It's like, no. <laughs> what? It's like, had to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what the hell you was talking about. So, um, him and my cousin Shawnee had scheduled to play basketball that day. And... Well, probably not that day, but it was around that same time. Yeah. And I was staying over their house. So, um, I had let them know that I was there or whatever. Because mm. he has, he didn't stay too far away from uh, nah. my cousin's house. So, he was within walking distance. Yeah, less than half a mile. So, so um, me and my cousin had walked to meet him halfway since he didn't really know where the house was. Right. And yeah, I I didn't really know how he I couldn't get a first impression out of him because he was <laughs> poker face. So I didn't know how he felt about me when he actually saw that I wasn't who he thought I was at right. first. Yeah, so yeah. But later on he told me I was fine. Right. <laughs> I just couldn't say nothing at first because, you know, I don't know, it's the way my pimping is, so, and you gotta ask just about that, man, yeah, so, because I'm known around Vincent around these parts with the gold Cadillac. Vincent, what? Shout out to Justin for that. Vincent? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> what is that? That's my alias. I'd be macking them broads. Justin, you gotta let me know what the hell he talking about. Kids. Justin know about that gold Cadillac. <laughs> Tell all about that gold Cadillac, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody wanted to ride in there. I ain't even had my driver's license. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so. So, fast forward. So we're playing basketball, right? We went over there to play basketball, hang out, do whatever, all right? So she's just sitting in like the corner of the driveway, just staring at me, you know, <laughs> with these little little shifty eyes, just looking evil at me because she's trying to, you know, I don't know. I know I look good then, you know. She was trying to check me out. <laughs> but every time, like, Either it was like a foul ball or something, and it bounced over there to like the corner of the the uh, driveway, you know, out of, out in the grass. You know, it would be right next to her, and she would just kind of look at it, and it would just go right by instead of like grabbing it and being tossing it to us. I was about to touch that ball. She just kind of look, and I'd just be like, "You could have grabbed the ball," and she ain't say nothing, you know, because you know. You the one playing, I mean. You know, she was just kind of starstruck by my okay my handsomeness or whatever. I did think he was fine. She I was me. I was kinda like super shy, but she was trying to get on me, but she knew I was out her leave. Anyway, so um after that we would still text 
here and there, but it wasn't really a thing. And so I had other relationships, like other boyfriends and stuff yeah. during that time because what this took place over the course of a year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh nine twenty. Yeah, I met him at oh nine. We didn't actually start talking until <laughs> two thousand ten. Yeah. Um, and he had other little girlfriends too. Other little girlfriends. Other well, I had girlfriends. a page. I had diaries and fucking notebooks full of them. All, all right. over Louisiana. Ah, right, I want to say all that. All over Louisiana. I got let me see you sticking out my mouth. What drug? Oh, okay. So let's fast forward to like March, April ish. <sighs> of 2010 and I had just got out of a relationship probably like a month before and after that relationship I was like I need to get myself together because all these people I've been talking to have been trash you know the high school <laughs> and so he wasn't really talking to me like that because at that point he had figured out how old I was. <laughs> um, I wasn't trying to go to jail. But I was at this point, I was 17. Yeah. 2010. Yeah, because we met early in the summer of 09. Yeah, yeah I was we met 16, right in the summer. Yeah. But I was turning 17. Yeah. Yeah. So, um,. I had text him because I had questions about their previous relationship that I needed a male perspective for and um, I still wasn't looking at him like a perspective boyfriend so I was like why don't I ask CJ I actually had him in my phone as CJ that boy that work at Raising Cane's <laughs> And so I had asked him, kid, he called me because it was like some stuff, it was too much to text. So I was like, well, can we just talk on the phone? So uh, he had one of calling me, and we talked like for a good amount of time. It was a few hours. I don't remember that. I do. It was a few hours. And from that day forward, we talked every day like i don't know what it was it was like after i got out of school i would call him and we would just be on the phone if he didn't work if he didn't have to go to work um even in, when you did have to work we did talk until you went to work i don't know if that was march that was more like april may I'm trying to remember because what I remember, I thought when we started talking was, I can't remember if it was 09 or if it was 2010. I went home that Christmas and that's when we started getting, cause I stopped talking to you for a long time. And then Christmas time, I think I texted you out the blue on Christmas or Christmas Eve. Cause I was a yeah, fat boy. Yeah, that house. was Christmas of 09. Cause I texted you, you know, and that's kind of when, I think you had, Cause you, I think somebody was, you was spending the night over somebody's house or I was spending. <laughs> My boyfriend. Something like that. <laughs> Thought it was a chick or something. I was sneaking over his house. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, 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 but. But I still talked to you though. Yeah, even though you did that. But he was, was my friend. He was <laughs> But I think I texted or called her or some shit. I was over Fat Boy house. Me, Aaron, Fat Boy, and a couple other people. <laughs> That's when we left that, uh. When that house caught on fire, we uh, dipped. And his uh, niece was still right there. Y'all. Yeah. He was the first one at the dump. He was at his friend's house. <laughs> the <laughs> baby <laughs> was in the kitchen eating. The house caught on fire. Everybody ran out. <laughs> Left the baby in the damn kitchen. Luckily, the baby was okay. Like, they put the They fire went back out. and got the baby. Oh, but, Jesus. Shit, it was everybody for themselves. They better run. <laughs> Damn high chair. Yeah, better get out and start rolling. We were gone, boy. 
<laughs> Yo, bro, y'all are dirty. The thing is, this ain't my kid, kinfolk, nothing, which, I mean, whatever. Like, no, I'm not, this, this is my homeboy. This is my homeboy and everything. You knew that back <laughs> in the damn kitchen. This is my homeboy, right? Ted, and he was bigger back then. He lost a lot of weight, but he had to be about 250. But, you know, he used to play football. He was like a lineman, you know. So he he was a big dude. Tell me why he beat me to the door. That's his niece, so. <laughs> If he ain't gonna save his niece, why am I gonna get burnt up? You know, so I don't know. It don't make it any better, but I'm just saying. Oh my goodness. Aaron remember that if you watch this video. Aaron remember that shit. That's when he got him and Paige got kicked. I think he was with Paige. I don't know. Lord Jesus. <laughs> I don't know, but I remember shit. <laughs> but <one>. yeah, <laughs> I had called him before, you know. Me with my boyfriend. I do remember that. Okay. But then that's when it went into. Like, that's when we started back texting again. Yeah, late March, April, when we actually Part started to get phone. serious, like towards a relationship. We never really established that we were in a relationship. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like. Um. She was just with me because she thought I was rich. Okay. After school. I would uh, meet up with him at his apartment. I never went in his apartment at the time. Like for the first few weeks. We'd All just right. meet like in the parking lot or by the pool and we'd just be talking until it got dark. And then, um, <laughs> so every summer I would spend the summer in Texas <laughs> with my dad. And so right. he was asking me what I wanted for my birthday. And I'm sitting here like, you're not gonna give me shit so I'm not going to. And so I had been hounding my mom for like this iPod touch for the longest and she would not get it for me. <laughs> and so I was complaining to him. I was like, I really want this damn iPod touch. Like, and she won't get it for me. And uh, so I had went off to Texas. We were still talking or whatever. And he was upset because he thought I was gonna be back in time for my birthday. And he wanted to spend time with me for my birthday. Whatever. What else are you just lying? I was trying to beat. What? <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> 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 so, um, I had came back home. And this was like July. And he had got off of work late night one night and uh oh, yeah. he had called me <laughs> and this motherfucker was at walmart and i'm sitting here like what the hell you doing at walmart why you not on your way home meanwhile walmart is right behind canes <laughs> i can literally just walk right <laughs> walmart parking lot right here canes right here at the edge of it so it's not like i went out my way <laughs> and i'm like what the hell like what you did at walmart at like three o'clock in the morning and so um, he was like, can I come over? Can you come outside? I'm like, what? At 3 o'clock in the morning? What the fuck? Luckily, my parents weren't there because they were working overnight. So <laughs> I was there by my motherfucking son. So it didn't matter. But I'm still like, I got nosy neighbors. I don't know who tell them my mama what, you know? And so he pulled up and I went outside. He didn't got my iPod touch, y'all. He was at, he got off work, went to Walmart. How the fuck was the electronics department still open at three o'clock? No, nah, he had to ask for somebody. Oh, get assistance. Okay, yeah, that but he empty. went got my iPod touch, then drove out his way. I live at least twenty minutes away from Raising Yeah, Hayes. that was out the way. He drove to my house to give it to me. I thought that was the sweetest thing ever, and since then we've been like right on rice. I ain't doing it no more. <laughs> you just bought me a whole bit. Okay, yeah, he he lying. Then he proposed to me like eight months later. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> so it was less than a year, y'all. No. Got that ring. Mm -mm. But I did have to stalk his ass before we actually um, made it official because he was still 
frazzled about my age. Like, <laughs> yeah, she even, was pushy. Even though I was 17, he was just like, mm, no. Yeah. And I always dated uh, dudes that were older than me, so that wasn't an issue for me. She but nasty. okay. She that had, was nasty. She had grown men at like 14. Nasty. Yeah, I was dating an 18 year old when I was 14. Just nasty. He nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Just nasty. No home training. Okay, but yeah, that's how we met y'all. Okay. Yeah, and eventually got together. I can't remember my mind's just fried. That was 12, 13 years ago? Yeah, started talking in 2010, proposed in 2011. I'm talking about when we met, 09. Uh, met yeah. 09, started being together around 2010, proposed yeah, in 2011. Go down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, long time since then. Actually didn't get married until 2013. Yeah. I was overseas. Yeah. That's a whole other story. Military came into play. Please like this video. Please comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions for us that you would like answered or anything really. Send me some money. Oh. <laughs> I'm tired of working. <laughs> Who's not tired of working? Everybody who working. Well, I don't work. All right, I'll see y'all next time. I got all the juice when I water brew. Walking on the moon, crush. Who my part of boots? Blows right all the clothes. I got all the juice. Rise like corn and brew. Flag. Red like corn and brew.